Yo, what is up guys, it's TV, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another episode of the secret easter egg glitch slash whatever, because I did this before, and lots of you guys were asking to do another one, and this is another one right here, and I think I'll do more maybe if I find some more glitches and th weird things in Clash Royale. Some of these are photoshopped, or two or one, I think. Don't hate on me because you think they're photoshopped, because I know they are. That's why I'm saying right now that they are photoshopped. So, whatever I just said. Let's move on and s wait actually let's hit 200 likes because yesterday we got a ton of likes We got like 150 and I only asked for 100 so let's see if we can get 200 likes and moving on Okay, I'll start now. So the first one is this thing right here now. It looks insane I don't know why it shows his name at the bottom right there, but really don't care Um, so yeah, this is pretty weird and it's most likely Photoshop because there is a river below a river or a lake That's kind of weird, but this would be pretty cool for like just messing around I guess in training camps will you just use all air troops because ground troops will uh, drown sadly and the Pekka will probably get electrocuted and die right away so this actually looks really cool and it looks very realistic like honestly I don't know how the guy did it how how good he is at Photoshop but it, this looks pretty insane how good he did it and managed to like get the waves going on the towers and stuff it probably took a very long time to do but you know this would be a very cool idea for like another arena or something like that so yeah, that's that's a pretty cool thing to add in Clash Royale, maybe or some secret thing in, in there. I, I don't know. So the other one is the one on the App Store, the screenshot. There's a screenshot on the App Store where it shows flags, and I'm not sure why they don't have that in the actual game, but in the screenshot from the App Store or the Google Play Store, they have flags. So like the red flags on his side, and then the blue flags on our our side. I'm guessing that might be like a new feature in like from Clan Castle Troops where you can donate from Clash Royale. Where you can donate troops in Clash Royale clans and actually attack with them. That, that would be actually pretty cool. Where just instead of a card, you use the Clan Castle or just add another thing where the Clan Castle is. Another little icon. I don't know. But that would be pretty cool if you ask me to add the Clan Castle thing. But yeah, that's the flag thing. It's kind of weird, but I don't know why they would add that in the App Store screenshot, but not add it in the actual game. That's pretty weird of them, but moving on, this one's actually pretty cool. I don't know how many of you have seen this, but this is a screenshot of the king without his crown. And he looks pretty hot, like honestly, I would smash- no, 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 what? Yeah, he but he looks pretty cool without the crown, and I'm not sure how that happened. I guess it was just like a, he, like I said in the previous glitch video, some old phone, and the phone couldn't like load the pixels, and like it glitched out. Sometimes that happens when I use an old phone or something like that. It usually like lags out a little bit, and it doesn't show all the graphics of the game. That's probably what happened, and... That's actually real because when Clash Royale makes the game, I'm, I'm not going to go too smart on this one. I don't want to destroy your brains, but they always do this in layers, I think, where they first have him, the face, and then they put all his hair. And then on the next layer, they add his crown so the hair would look realistic under it. Because if they didn't add the hair under it, he would look bald. That would be pretty weird. But at least he's not bald, you know. So moving on to the next one. This is pretty cool right here. So if you look at the first screenshot in Arena 5, and before the update, I don't know what which one but before it there used to be um you, you see the spell factories on the very corners they're both blue and then like the crystals a little bit i think they're, the crystals aren't blue they're purple dumbass and if you take a look at these ne this next screenshot the crystals look a little bit different and the spell factory at the top is a different color i'm not sure why i think that was after the lava hound update and it looks pretty cool, honestly, how they changed it up a bit. Maybe new troop, possibly, or something like that. But it's just a little thing that they would add. I don't know why they would just waste their time on that. I don't think no one noticed but me, because I'm a psychopath for this game. Yeah, moving on. Let's look at the last one, I think. I think this is the last one. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it is. So, it, I... What is that thing? Is that a fireball? I don't know, but as you can see right here, there's no fence or a bridge under it, which kind of makes it look very weird and looks like someone broke it. Maybe the Pekka was too fat and just broke it and fell under the water and just went away into the dam and got sucked in and just destroyed. What am I doing? And yeah, that looks pretty weird. It's like a visual glitch and someone's calling me son of a... Alrighty, well, I just had an important Illuminati business call. Just joking, but I think that's it for the video guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. I don't know where I left off because that call took a decent amount of my day. Took a decent chunk. So hopefully you enjoyed the video in these glitch bugs, Easter egg thingies, Photoshop. Don't really don't know what I'm doing at the <laughs> 
thank you for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did 200 likes in today's video and i'll do an audi r8 giveaway tomorrow <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe please sub please sub Bye. yeah i'm like oh god oh oh my god bitch i run the game y'all just commentate from the side i'm like oh god oh oh my god Yo, what is up guys, the TV, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another episode of the secret easter egg glitch slash whatever, because I did this before, and lots of you guys were asking to do another one, and this is another one right here, and I think I'll do more maybe if I find some more glitches and th weird things in Clash Royale. Some of these are photoshopped, or two or one I think don't hate on me because do you think they're photoshopped because I know they are that's why I'm saying right now that they are photoshopped so whatever I just said let's move on and wait actually let's hit 200 likes because yesterday we got a ton of likes we got like 150 and I only asked for 100 so let's see if we can get 200 likes to add the clan castle thing but yeah that's the flag thing it's kind of weird but I don't know why they would add that in the app store screenshot but not add it in the actual game that's pretty weird of them but moving on this one's actually pretty cool i don't know how many of you seen this but this is a screenshot of the king without his crown and he looks pretty hot like honestly i would smash no 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 what yeah he but he looks pretty cool without the crown and i'm not sure how that happened i guess it was just like a, he like i said in the previous glitch video some old phone and the phone couldn't like load the pixels and like it glitched out sometimes that happens when i use an old phone or something like that it usually like lags out a little bit and it doesn't show all the graphics of the game. That's probably what happened and that's actually real because when Clash Royale makes the game, I'm, I'm not going to go too smart on this one, I don't want to destroy your brains, but they always do this in layers I think where they first have him, the face, and then they put all his hair and then on the next layer they add his crown so the hair would look realistic under it because if they didn't add the hair under it, he would look bald, that would be pretty weird. But at least he's not bald, you know. So moving on to the next one, this is pretty cool right here. So if you look at the first screenshot in Arena 5 and before the update, I don't know which one, but before it, there used to be, um, you, you see the spell factories on the very corners, they're both blue and then like the crystals a little bit I think. The crystals aren't blue, they're purple, dumbass. And if you take a look at these, ne this next screenshot, the crystals look a little bit different, and the spell factory at the top is a different color. I'm not sure why. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's a pretty cool thing to add in Clash Royale, maybe or some secret thing in, in there. I, I don't know. So the other one is the one on the App Store, the screenshot. There's a screenshot on the App Store where it shows flags, and I'm not sure why they don't have that in the actual game, but in the screenshot from the App Store or the Google Play Store, they have flags. So like the red flags on his side, and then the blue flags on our our side. I'm guessing that might be like a new feature in like from Clan Castle Troops where you can donate from Clash Royale. Where you can donate troops in Clash Royale clans and actually attack with them. That, that would be actually pretty cool where just instead of a card, you use the Clan Castle or just add another thing where the Clan Castle is another little icon. I don't know, but that would be pretty cool if you ask me. And moving on. Okay, I'll start now. So the first one is this thing right here. Now, it looks insane. I don't know why it shows his name at the bottom right there but really don't care um so yeah this is pretty weird and it's most likely photoshop because there's a river below a river or a lake that's kind of weird but this would be pretty cool for like just messing around i guess in training camps where you just use all air troops because ground troops will uh drown sadly and the peko will probably get electrocuted and die right away so this actually looks really cool and it looks very realistic like honestly i don't know how the guy did it how how good he is at photoshop but this looks pretty insane how good he did it and managed to like get the waves going on the towers and stuff it probably took a very long time to do but you know this would be a very cool idea for like another arena or something like that 